Okay, so this is going to be a guide for Pauline. Um, you can uh, follow along with this, and this is going to cover pretty much all the normal stuff I do, all the things I think you might run into during the course of uh, editing your show in Reaper. And uh, down at the bottom of the screen, down here, you can see uh, it's going to have all the keys that I'm pressing. So if you're not sure what is uh, doing something, what's making something happen, um, you'll have a big list down here, and you can go back and, and view this video a bunch of times. But um, basically, we have right here what you should have in your, um, your Master Gardener template. Um, you've got the disclaimer, the stinger, and then you've got this big, long uh, bird song thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm clicked in this gray area. I'm using left click on my mouse. Um, and like you know, uh, you hit return, enter on your keyboard, and that takes you back to the beginning of the session. Uh, you might have also seen I selected a bunch of these clips. Again, that's right mouse to you know, hold down uh, right mouse. To select clips, you can also hold down over no clips, and that will deselect any that you have selected. So if you wanted to move, say, just these two, you could select them, move them. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. Uh, if you actually wanted to move all three, you know, you can just grab all three. But let's say you just wanted to move those two. You've got these three. You're like, oh no, I just want to, I don't want to move that one. What am I going to do? You right click in the middle of nowhere, and then again over just the ones you want, and then you can get just the ones you want. So, um, I'm going to click back in this gray area, so I'm clicked on nothing right now. I'm going to hit M to open my media browser, and I've got your, uh, do, do, do. let's see, um, let's just pull this one in. So I'm going to pull in that. Um, that could be something that you recorded yourself, or, you know, maybe something that you got from Box or an old recording from an archive. Um, but now that we've got that pulled in, I'm going to click in this gray, uh, gray area again, hit M. To close that. So I think one of the first things that you had said was um, you didn't want to use all of this bird song um, and that you were having uh, an issue with the uh, tools. So what I'm going to do is let's say you had these dragged you know close to one another over top of one another. I want to have a little clear space to work so I'm going to uh, get make sure that I've got the white mouse cursor click and drag this out of the way so now I've got some clear space here. I'm going to click where I want that uh, separation to be. I'm in the habit of clicking on uh, the track above or below because, you know, sometimes you can click on that. Sometimes that'll pop up. You don't want it to. Um, so I usually click just above where I actually want to be instead of, you know, in the middle of the thing where you want to go. Although it seems like you can do that too. Um, so let's say we want to cut it there. So I'm going to hit E on the keyboard. I'm going to separate that. And I am just going to delete that for now because we don't need that. We can always pull it out. See, this is the, the beauty of Reaper is that I can just make sure I've got my trim tool here and I can pull all that out, have that all back again, and I can loop it over again too. But uh, in this case, we don't want to do that. So I got a little shifted around here. I'm going to grab my cursor bar at the bottom, pull it back to where I know I, I want to be. So I'm going to pull this in here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a fade in. I'm moving, you can see again with the mouse, it's got this time selecting tool. It's sort of shaped like an I, capital letter I. You move it over top, then you've got the move tool. And as you get close to that top corner, you get the fade tool. So I've faded out, faded in, and then we can pull you over until you're sort of coming in just as it's fading out. And then let's hear how that sounds. We have the Halliburton County Master Gardener. In okay, well, a couple of things. That feels like a really long break to me, so I don't think we want it to be that long. So I'm going to pull this over. I'm going to get my trim tool. Oops. Okay, so that didn't that didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to, but never fear. Um, so I'm going to trim it out so that the fade is still roughly the length that I want it to be, and then it seems like it'll maintain that fade when I trim it. So I'm going to get my trim tool out, go over here, click and drag that in. So that is probably long enough. Looks like we've got Linda up here too, so I'm going to trim her out, and then this should be... I think. This is Pauline Pluard. And it is. So we'll pull you over there. 
This is Pauline Pluard, mm -hmm. one of your Halliburton County Master Gardeners with gardening. Uh, and uh, just in case you couldn't hear that, I just put in a little fade there just to make it safe. So if you have a spot like that where it's, it's really tiny or you can't really quite see it, there's a bunch of different ways that you can zoom and um, one of them is you should start being comfortable with because I think I've probably said this to you before but there's a lot of zooming in and out when it comes to editing audio. So one way is you can hold control on your keyboard and use the scroll wheel on your mouse and that will zoom in and out to the spot where this green line is clicked. You can also press T on your keyboard to go towards that spot or you can press R on your keyboard to uh, reverse and go back to where you were. And you can also hold down T. So if you just want to click it and hold it, you'll zoom super far in. You can click and hold R and do the same thing. Um, let's see, is there another way? Um, you can always go view, go to zoom, and you can find zoom in, zoom out there. Uh, let's see, I thought there was one more option. Um, extensions, then you can go to Zoom Preferences. So any way in here that you want to do this really um, is fine. Um, I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, really, I find the R and T buttons are, are handy, but most of the time I'm using the control and scroll wheel. Um, but like I said, anything works uh, or anything that you're comfortable with works. You've also got the uh, plus and minus buttons down here, so zooming in and zooming out. And again, they all work the same way. They're all going to be zooming in or out relative to where that green line is. Okay, so let's, uh, now that we've got zooming in and zooming out, let's zoom in so we can see clearly. We're going to put a little fade there. We're going to zoom out and let's take This is seat. Pauline Pluard, one of your Halliburton. Sounds great. Master Gardeners with gardening tips. Pruning roses. It's a little bit intimidating, first of all, because you've heard, you know, there's all these different types of roses and you don't know whether you should go ahead and do it or not. Also, roses are really prickly and you're probably going to have to wear gloves. So one thing you could do is you can uh, adjust timing here. So you can uh, separate with E and then just drag this and move it over a little closer. So the beauty, again, of Reaper is it's automatically doing that fade for you. You can adjust it if you need to. 99% of the time, I wouldn't. Um, I would just let it do its own thing because we can take a listen and hear if it sounds good. So I click a little bit before and I take a listen to what I just did. Roses and you don't know whether you should go ahead and do it or not. Also, roses are really prickly and you're probably going to have to wear gloves. There are in So that sounds good to me. We can keep moving forward. There are in fact definitely specific ways to prune, for example, a floribunda versus a rambler. But in fact, um, it's better to prune modestly than to not. So we could probably cut out the um and we can maybe tighten it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to hit spacebar again to play. Again, you can use the play up here. And then when I hear the thing that, um, you know, grabs my ear, the, the little um that I want to cut out, uh, I am going to either hit control spacebar to pause it or I'm going to use the pause button and that'll stop the green line on exactly the part that I want to edit. So let's take a look at that. There are, in fact, definitely specific ways to prune, for example, a floribunda versus a rambler. But, in fact, um, it's better... So it's just right there, right in there. So I'm going to zoom in close, and I'm going to separate on either side of that. And I'm just going to use backspace to delete it. And I'm going to pull that over, and let's take a listen to that. Zoom out again versus a rambler but in fact it's better to prune modestly than to and I think we could probably cut out a little bit of that space too so I'm gonna press E to separate click over here E to separate then we can delete that and click and drag that over it's better to prune modestly than to not prune at all pruning actually improves the vigor of the plant the shape of the plant and gives you bigger and better blooms so rule of thumb cut out no more than one-third of your bush and also cut off no more than one-third of any stem now in fact probably in Halliburton if you're growing roses at all you have a shrub rose 
And this is a, the bush, which happens to be uh, a shape that's fairly full, probably about, say, the same width as it is height. It's kind of a big round bush. And uh, that's most likely what you have because they really do the best here. But back to the pruning of your rows. If you okay, so let's say we want to cut out this uh, cut out this section um, and just keep on all the uh, the rose pruning stuff. So one thing we can do, you know, we've we've done it a bunch already. We can click where we want to make a separation, press E. Click where we want to make another separation, press E, and then delete the spot in between. Click left click to select, and then backspace to delete that spot. I'm going to undo all that. Because the other thing we can do is a shortcut when we know the entire selection that we want to make, we can separate it with B. And uh, one thing that I find is really handy is instead of always going over to the backspace button to delete something, um, I will actually just use the shortcut X because X will cut it. So even though we're not planning to you know, like cut and paste this, I find that's a, a quick little shortcut. Um, either E or B to separate, depending on whether you're just doing a single cut or whether you're cutting a whole section. So we'll go over that just one more time just to make sure it's super clear. Uh, we press E, we get one cut. We want to find the other cut. We press uh, E again to make a second cut. If we know we want to cut out this whole section, we can also just select it and then press B once to make the cut on both sides. And no matter which way you cut it, um, you can then press X to get rid of it. And then we can drag that over and listen to that. Round bush. If you don't know the type, go ahead and, and prune it the way I mentioned, um, and then wait a year and observe it and just see what kind of rows do I really have. And then you can deal with a very particular type of, of pruning. For example, you're going to observe over the year, has it got one bloom per stem or clusters of bloom? And you might also notice that I'm, um, I'm uh, quite often zooming out and zooming in as I listen to see where we are in relation to the whole uh, program, like where this one specific point is in relation to the whole thing. Um, you can use that to decide how detailed you want to get with your edits. You can also use that to decide um, you know, if, if your thing is running long or not, if you think, okay, do I, should I cut this section out? Should I leave it in? You know, sometimes it helps to zoom out and say, oh, well, this episode's only five minutes long, so I might as well leave in everything because it's kind of short overall. Or, you know, you can zoom out and go, and like this one is a, a shorter one. Um, maybe it's like 15 or 20 minutes and you don't want your show to be quite that long. Then maybe you might want to be a, a little more liberal in cutting sections out. But let's say we've got all the sections cut out. Um, we're Will our Halliburton County, Will our Halliburton, <laughs> we're coming to the end of the show right here. Our Halliburton County Master Gardener website and send us an email. Good gardening. So really, we could we could leave that just as it is. However, if you wanted to get this same bird sound back in, um, and maybe this is even some of that. Uh, issue that you were talking about too. You want to just click it to select it, but you're, all you're getting is these crazy tools. You're trying to do all this stuff and it's doing crazy things. Um, so let's undo until we get that back to non-craziness. Uh, this is also going to be maybe your favorite key command, Control Z. Uh, that one is undo and it's the thing that I use more often than any other. Uh, the next most common one would be Control S and that is file, whoops, woo. File, Save Project is Control S. And you can see Edit, Undo is Control Z. And it'll say Undo and then whatever the thing that you're, uh, Undo and then whatever the thing that you're doing was. So uh, if you're having this issue, um, I would say that it is an issue of zooming because you are zoomed out too far to be able to access the point in the clip that you want. So it's a little bit annoying, but like I said, there's so much of editing audio, of moving stuff around, making this radio show that um, is going to be just zooming in and zooming out. So again, just to make sure you're super comfortable with it, control and scroll wheel will zoom you in and zoom you out, as will the buttons R uh, to reverse and T to go towards. Um, so click, let's say we're way out here. And you know, you're trying to get that one tool that you want. You can only get these fade tools. It's driving you nuts. You click 
where you want to go and then T towards it. Then you can click right in the middle and control C will copy. You can also go edit, woo, edit, copy. And there's a little reminder of what the shortcut is uh, if you ever forget. Um, you can also right click on them and where is it? Copy items. So that goes for most uh, commands too in Reaper. You can quite often just right click to find uh, the, uh, the extra command that you need. So we've already copied this. So let's scroll out and now let's click in that track that we want to be in. So we want to make sure this one's highlight because sometimes if this one's highlight, then you paste it and it ends up in the wrong spot. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to make sure this track is clicked on and I'm going to click right there where I want it to go and then V to paste. And now we'll zoom in a little and it doesn't have any, oops, well that's not what I wanted to cut. Let's delete that. Let's do that all over again. So let's zoom right in. We'll copy this. Zoom. Oh, maybe it's just C to copy. I bet it is. Pauline, what am I doing to myself? It is. It's just C. Okay. C to copy. Zoom out. And then V to paste. And yeah, our fades are in there, so let's... Any Master Gardener website and send us an email. Good gardening. Any Master Gardener. Lovely. Okay. So there we go. We've got all of the stuff in there that we need. So let's take a listen now and make sure we've got it at the right level. A few bigger and better blooms. So, rule of thumb, cut out no more than one third of your bush and also care of it. And then uh, go ahead and Google its description and see if you can find out just exactly what type of rose it is. Now, finally, design. Your goal with roses is to create sort of a vase shape. Okay, so I'll go through that one more time quickly. The number again that we're looking for, I think you already probably know this, is this blue number. And I just want to make sure it's between minus 19 and minus 16. So minus 16 is the loudest it can get. Minus 19 is the quietest it can get. So we're doing, we're doing pretty well. So I'm going to just pick a, a random spot at the beginning of your show, in the middle and at the end. So the spots that you are talking in, click once, uh, click play and let it play for a few seconds and watch this blue number. Pruning roses. It's a little bit intimidating, first of all, because you've heard, you know. So minus 17, that looks great to me. So I'll click somewhere in the middle and hit play for a few seconds. It's like rose shape. Is it a climbing or rambling type rose? Take a picture of it when it blooms, and uh, of course you're going to know the... So that one's a little on the quiet side. It's actually slightly quieter than uh, we want the show to be overall. But again, this is an average measurement. So we're going to take another listen at the end, and we'll uh, compare all three. Finches say, um, above an outward-facing bud. So to sum up, take off less than one-third of any branch and... Okay, so it started pretty quiet, too. But um, by the end of it, I thought it looked pretty good to me. So I'm going to leave this up on the screen. I still want to be able to see this. If it, for any reason it gets hidden or it gets closed, you can just get it from the master FX. Click that button. It'll pop up again. And we're going to go File, Render. And this will be the exporting process. So we're going to call this um, Pauline Test Show. And we're going to make sure it's an MP3 because that's the one that we want for podcasting. And it, once we click render, it'll start processing it and we'll see the, uh, the blue screen or the blue number change in real time for the actual full length of the episode. So this will tell us whether or not we did it right. So here we go. Render. We're going to watch this. So yeah, it's looking nice. It's in that kind of Goldilocks range between 16 and 19. Um, so we're probably coming up to the... Oh, we're coming up to the end now. So yeah, it's looking just fine. Okay, so there we go. We have just uh, imported, edited, and exported uh, Master Gardener. Hope that helps.